Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. I hope you have been doing great. This uh, video is all about Date Night In and the third box that I've received from them, the February Date Night In box. Um, I really appreciate that Date Night In for this month sent the date earlier than they usually do. They usually send them out toward the end of the month. So I really thought it was considerate that they sent the date early enough that you could have the date on Valentine's Day if you so choose. And that's what Ben and I plan to do is use this date for tomorrow, Valentine's Day. So before you receive your date in the mail, you are given an email that lets you know that your date is on its way. And then in that email, you have a really cute little invitation you can print out and give to your significant other, which I think is kind of fun and boosts anticipation for the event. It makes it seem a little bit more like an official date. And then they also send you a recommended menu by a blogger. You can check her out at Marina Makes. Dot com and uh, I really have been enjoying the menus that Marina has put together this one that she put together is kind of a Grecian uh, inspired menu and it kind of goes along with um, the theme which is uh, called the story of us so it's kind of a reminiscent theme of uh, just times past and so Marina has a Grecian background her grandmother was from Greece and so she kind of incorporated that in the meal for this date. Looks like we'll be having a limoncello cranberry spritzer as well as a walnut ricotta and honey. Um, <laughs> goodness, I'm gonna have to read this one because I keep messing it up. So it's a ricotta walnut and honey crostini. So that looks really delicious. And then we also have for the main course a baked penne pasta with a vodka sauce. So if you've ever had of like a vodka cream pasta, it's divine it's really delicious and uh, she is obviously a fan of cheese marina is because all of the meals that we've had for the previous dates have some really neat cheeses incorporated into the meal which definitely breaks us out of what we usually eat uh, we, i mean we have cheese but just not like fancy cheeses so it's been really cool to try something new through these menus so here's a look at the box and uh, like I said, it's the story of us. Um, and on the box, they kind of just have a reminiscent of Date Night in and its beginnings. So this is a fairly new company. It started in, looks like 2016. And uh, yeah, late 2016. So they have pictures of those who are part of the Date Night in team. And then uh, just some neat little facts about Date Night in and how far they've come. So we're gonna get right into opening this date night. So in the menu, there was not a dessert included. So I think that maybe that that is what's gonna be in the box. So we'll find out. And usually the boxes have a smell to them, like a, a nice smell that goes with the theme. I can't smell anything in this one, so we'll see. Here we go. Okay, so we have a little guide um, that is gonna tell us what all of the things in the box are for. We'll come back to that after we unpack this box. Okay, so we have a thick booklet here and it says the story of us, name and date. Oh my goodness, this is so cute. So this um, is a little booklet. I love how it's designed. That is adorable. Oh, this looks like such a, a sweet uh, thing that you can look back on. It says, first met, when did we meet? Uh, first official date, first smooch, ooh. And so it looks like you're just kind of sharing your thoughts. Um, the moment I saw you, this thought popped into my head. So that's really fun. Uh, let me see if you can see that. I wish I would have, hmm, three words to describe you at the bottom. So it looks like it has a his and her section to fill in these blanks. I still fall for you every day. Oh, that's cute. So it looks like you have opportunities to add pictures. My nickname for you, favorite physical feature, favorite personality trait, favorite way you show your love, love by the numbers, dating. Oh, so you can have the, the dates and years you dated, uh, birth, how many birthdays you celebrated together, times watched, a favorite movie, states visited, countries visited. Oh, love by the map, cute. So it has uh, where we met, where we fell in love, where we have traveled, where we got engaged, where we said I do, where we want to travel. So that's a really neat couples map to put on there. Huh. And suddenly all the love songs were about you. Oh, that's cute. 
you see our love songs so here you can write out the lyrics or love songs wherever you'd like I swear I couldn't love you more than I do right now and yet I know I will tomorrow that's a cute quote favorite memory of us when where the details activities we love to do together things we want to do together our future plans so it uh, provides like a little timeline for you to write out your future plans I want all of you forever and me every day cool the story of us photo scavenger hunt date location rock paper scissors champ oh this is fun okay best facial reenactment of how we have each felt on our first date <laughs> that's fun reflection of how we first met so these are four by six um, places to put your photos let me see recreating the moment of our first kiss snuck a candid picture of number of years weeks or months we have been together using objects around the house cool a memento that reminds us of a trip or event that we enjoyed together surprise us dancing to a photo of where we want to visit together oath to make our plan plans for the future happen <laughs> okay so this is a really neat little um, project to put together a memento of where you've been uh, and what your thoughts were and then also where you hope to go so I really think that that's super cute and fun um, and I like the idea of the photo scavenger hunt that should be a lot of fun okay Ooh. No, they didn't. Okay. <laughs> they actually included the camera for you. That's really neat. Um, you can do it old school. Take your pictures for your photo scavenger hunt and go get them developed. And you know what is kind of neat about having um, an old school camera is that you only get, you know, what the take is is what it is. Like you don't get to keep taking a bajillion pictures and then pick the best one. So it's kind of fun that, you know, it, you just have to, <laughs> to get it in how many takes you can. Let me see, there are, um, I wanna see how many pictures you can take with this. I don't see, oh, okay, so you get 27 photographs and there's quite a bit of photographs you need to take. So uh, I just think it's kind of neat that you don't really have the chance to overthink it and be perfectionist. It's just kind of a fun project to do together. So that's really cool. I like that. And then we have some, ooh, some candy melts. And this is a vanilla flavored. So it is this. And then we have Ooh, delicious Oreos. So I'm thinking we're gonna be dipping those in chocolate. Trim wick two before lighting, burn. Okay, it looks like we have, um, a, I don't know if this is a candle or if this is to help us make our, oh, it is. Mmm, so that smells kind of cinnamon, cinnamony. Oh, I like that, that's cute. All right. They sent us a really nice uh, marker for our, looks like our little scrapbook. And then they also sent us these little sticks, which I think is for using with our Oreos and dipping them in the chocolate. And then we have this cute washi tape, I guess to use in our little scrapbook here. And then Oreo decorating mat. So this is what we'll be putting our Oreos on. Okay, oh, that's really cute. I think this is gonna be just really fun date and just cute. And I think Valentine's Day is just a neat time, an opportunity to think over um, all the fun times that we've had together and the plans that we have for the future. And then, anyway, I just think it's really cool. All this came together. So now I'm going to read our little guide here. I think I've pretty much figured it out, <laughs> but I'll go ahead and get into the guide just in case you want to hear. So this really cute goes with the theme. Welcome. As most of our memories 
live virtually these days, there is something nostalgic about the idea of putting our memories down on paper and getting our photos off the phone. Tonight you will create a book called The Story of Us and go on captivating photos, go on a captivating photo scavenger hunt together. Take a trip back down memory lane, look ahead to the future and get creative. Take a few extra pictures of your date night and share them using date night inbox. One lucky couple will win their next date free. Join us on Facebook for more details. I love that date night in always have some sort of a competition or an opportunity to win something. And it's always so fun to go on Instagram or Facebook and see the other couples and their dates. You know, because I don't know, it's just kind of neat to do your date with your spouse and then kind of see, oh, this is what other people are doing. And it's just really, I really enjoy that, seeing what other people post. Date night in itinerary. Okay, so they have a, some coaching on how to set the mood. So it says, take some time to set the mood for your date. You will more than likely need a table nearby to create your book. So try to make your space cozy and settle in to enjoy each other's company. Dim the lights and tune in to, um, they have a playlist for this date for a great date night soundtrack. Cook your suggested dinner recipes. Our friend Marina Mix has created a delicious menu for you to enjoy tonight, including a grocery shopping list to make things easy on you. It's totally optional, but our customers have shared with us that they really love it. Yeah, we really enjoy that too. The story of us photo scavenger hunt. Grab your included camera and complete your photo scavenger hunt as a couple. Make your Oreo pops. Get ready to make delicious Oreo pops. Create the story of us. Love brought you together and now it's time to tell your story in a unique way. Get ready to write your love story and create lasting memories. Enjoy the rest of your night. So I don't know if you've seen this on Pinterest or maybe it's just on my particular feed, but there is this one pin that just kept keeps popping up uh, and it's called uh, The Story of Us actually and, and it's a book that you can make for um, your significant other and anyway it looked like a really neat idea so when I got a little hint for the theme of The Story of Us I kind of thought it might be along those lines of what I had been seeing all over Pinterest so it was really cool to see how that came together. So they go in some more detail uh, with the coaching of what to do. Um, it's about setting the mood and preparing the dinner. And then they give you uh, just some little more coaching on the pictures that you're going to do. I like that they have this broken down in the book and not just relying on this, um, your little scrapbook. So that will make it easier for actually getting your pictures done so you don't have to keep flipping pages. It has all of your pictures that you need to take. <laughs> so they say here, play a game of rock, paper, scissors to determine who will drop off and pick up your camera to be developed. And I'm, I'm really, I'm kind of digging this camera here um, because I think it would just be fun to anticipate getting your film back and your pictures developed and seeing how they turned out. Make your chocolate Oreo pop so they have more about that. Create the story of us. Ooh, hey, they've got another giveaway in here. So it says here, prize alert. Up for grabs is a $500 gift card from Hotels.com to help you check one of the boxes off your bucket list. Simply snap a picture of the both of you with your The Story of Us book and use the hashtag date night inbox for a chance to win. That is so cool. Well, you know, I think this is gonna just be really fun to walk down memory lane. Ben is kind of nostalgic anyway. He's sort of an old soul. He likes to reminisce, and so I think he's really going to enjoy this one. Well, friends, if you'd like to see how Ben and I enjoy this particular date night inbox, you can go on over to my Instagram uh, at Lovely Things with Abby, and I'll be posting pictures from our date, and then I'll also be posting a little review on Insta Stories. Well, friends, if you're interested in learning more about date night inboxes, you can find the information for date night inboxes below. Um, I am a partner with Date Night In, so you'll find my partnership link below. And they have uh, not just the date night inboxes, but they have um, Faith Night In, which is kind of it's a date that has sort of a devotional with it and Ben and I really enjoyed our Faith Night Inbox from December um, and one of the neat things about the Faith Night Inboxes is that they partner with a ministry so when you purchase your date you're also giving to a cause and that was really neat um, to learn about a cause uh, something in the world that Ben and I did not know was an issue uh, so we just loved learning about something that we could help with in our date. So that's a really neat one for the Faith Night In boxes. And then also there is a Kids Night In box. So if you're looking for activities to do with your kids and you just kind of want something fresh once a month already pre-planned for you, you can check out, check out that as well. If you do decide to give Date Night In boxes a go, please let me know 
how you like it, how you enjoy it. Um, all of their date, all of the date night ends have been really creative. There's been some romance in there. It's kind of a playful date. A lot of them have something fun incorporated in it. And then of course, it's always a yummy treat in there and something that smells nice. And then I love the playlist and the recommended menu. It's just a really neat way to have a no fuss date, basically already planned for you, come right to your door. All you have to do is pick up the recommended menu ingredients and all of the recipes that have been recommended have been pretty quick to whip together so you're not slaving away in the kitchen. Well friends, thank you for joining me in this video today. If you're not a subscriber, I would love to have you part of my subscriber friends. I look forward to seeing you in my next video. I hope you have a wonderful Valentine's Day. Bye.